The Indian Air Force chief has said that the Indian Air Force has not received any formal F-35 offer, and the F-35 has not yet been considered, and that the Air Force might have to go for off-the-shelf purchases with indigenous content until the AMCA gets developed. The United States has urged India to reduce its tariffs and increase purchases of U.S. defense products, as part of a proposed bilateral trade agreement. After the poor performance of the striker in Ladakh, Russia has offered its advanced BTR-22 to the Indian Army. The RDO's Naval Materials Research Laboratory is developing a silent power system using fuel cells for the high-endurance autonomous underwater vehicle. The DRDO developed 5 kW continuous wave fiber laser has successfully passed its initial trials and is now poised to enter production by Kochi-based SFO Technologies. Seacon Engineering has delivered the 8th missile come ammunition barge to the Indian Navy. The armies of India and Kyrgyzstan will conduct the exercise Kanjur 12 in Kyrgyzstan from tomorrow. Weeks after US President Donald Trump pitched the sale of F-35 stealth fighter jets to India, Indian Air Force chief has said that the Indian Air Force has not received any formal offer for the F-35, and that the F-35 has not yet been considered, and that the Air Force might have to go for off-the-shelf purchases with indigenous content until the AMCA gets developed. The F-35 is one of the most expensive fighter jets in the world, and a recent US report also flagged concerns over its performance, and that it has an availability rate of just 51% in the US Air Force. Russia's Rosbaron export has said, that if the Indian side makes a positive decision, there exists a path forward for the large-scale domestic modernization and localization of Su-57, and the Hal Nashik facility currently assembling the Su-30 could be swiftly adapted to produce the Su-57 by end of 2025. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has offered full transfer of technology, enabling India to customize the aircraft with Indian-made systems and subsystems that are already under development for the AMCA, and the AL-51 engine will be offered once it is fully developed and production ready. Hyderabad-based VEM Technologies has unveiled its indigenously developed canister launched Ajita short-range and long-range surface-to-air missile system. The Ajita SR missile is engineered as a quick reaction system designed to neutralize threats within a maximum range of 25 km against low-flying targets like UAVs helicopters and cruise missiles, while the Ajito LR extends the defensive envelope to a maximum range of 75 km against stealth aircraft and precision-guided munitions. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.